Hi, I'm Gabriel Peterson, a developer evangelist at ARM. In this video, I'll walk you through the learning path written by Jason Andrews on running a local LLM chatbot on a Raspberry Pi 5, specifically the Orca Mini 3B model. As a bonus, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to modify our setup to get Microsoft's Pi 3 model running. To follow along with this learning path, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 5 with preferably 8 gigabytes of RAM and some form of connected storage for the operating system and models. I'll be using a micro SD card. We'll start by using the Raspberry Pi Imager to install the operating system. You can download it from raspberrypi.com software or install it via a package manager. Select the Raspberry Pi 5 for the device, a 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64-bit since I'll be connecting via SSH and don't need a desktop environment. Choose your storage and then hit Next. The next step is optional, but I like to apply OS customization settings at this stage so the Pi is ready to go from the start. Set things like username, password, location, and SSH key. Then confirm the customization settings and continue. Now, connect the storage to the Pi. I'll be inserting the micro SD card and power on the device. While that's happening, let's take a look at the memory model calculator on Hugging Face. You can use it to check how much RAM or VRAM a particular model will require based on its precision. Just paste in the account slash repo. Here you can see that the full float 32 Orca Mini 3B requires over 12 gigs of RAM, while the int4 quantized version needs less than 2 gigs. Keep in mind this is an estimate. When we profile our program later in the video, you'll notice that the memory usage is roughly 30% or so higher. Let me SSH into the Pi 5 and we'll go ahead with loading everything we need onto our device. We'll start by downloading and installing PackageX and then use it to download the Orca Mini model via the Hugging Face CLI. Next, let's create and activate a Python virtual environment. Once inside, we'll install the Accelerate and Transformers Python packages. Accelerate is a tool we can use to estimate a model's RAM requirements, similar to how we did with the memory model calculator on Hugging Face. As you can see, the results are nearly identical. To run this model, we'll be using the Llama CPP with Python bindings via the package Llama CPP Python. So let's install that using pip. You can use any editor you like for this next part, but I'm just going to install Vim since it's my preferred editor for quick edits over SSH. Create a file named run.py, open it with your editor, and paste in the code provided in the learning path linked below. For this Python program, we'll use the Llama CPP package we installed earlier, Set a few constants and initialize the model by specifying the Orca's path, the four available threads on a Pi 5, and setting verbose to false to avoid inundation with logging and model information. We only want to see the user's input in the model's response. Next, we provide the user with the first thing they'll see when running the program, a simple, how can I help you dialog. Now we'll get into the program's main loop, which continues running until the user types quit or exit. The user types their input, the model tokenizes it, and then generates a response. Setting reset default means the model retains its previous context, remembering the previous inputs and outputs. The logits processor is set to an empty list, so no additional processing occurs during generation, only providing the model's raw output. We loop through the response, printing the tokens to the screen as they are generated, halting only when the end of sequence token is received. Now let's run our program to see the model in action. Here I'm telling it to write a program to check if a number is prime. While the Pi 5 is fast enough to generate responses about as quickly as a person speaks, I will fast forward after about 10 seconds due to the length of the responses. 
The answer it gives is technically correct. Next, I ask the model an opinion question about its preference between its C and Rust for embedded development. While there is no right answer, it responds that it thinks Rust is a better choice. Before asking another question, let's install the memory profiler Python package to find out the peak memory usage for a single response. Simply type mprof run with a Python flag before our normal python run.py. Here I tell it to write a bubble sort algorithm in C. It provides an answer that is technically correct. We'll exit out here and then run the command mprof peak to find out the peak memory usage. It returns a response over 2 gigabytes, a bit higher than our earlier estimate, but still in the same ballpark. For the bonus section, I'm going to show you how to download and run Microsoft's Phi 3 model, specifically the Phi 3 Mini 4K Instruct. So like before, we'll use PackageX to download the model with the Hugging Face CLI. Next, let's modify the code to handle the Phi 3 model. While it is largely similar, there are differences in a few key areas. We don't provide the model with the same prefix and suffix constants as before. When initializing the model, we specify that it runs entirely on the CPU by setting zero GPU layers. In the n underscore ctx line, we specify the context size, essentially telling the model how many tokens it can keep in its context. This value can be decreased or increased depending on your needs and the model's performance, but I've found that 4096 is a good starting value for simple testing. Handling the inference is different, and I based this code on the example provided on Microsoft's Phi 3 Mini 4K Instruct GGUF page. For it, we feed the input into the model and loop through each token of the response in a single command, telling the model to limit the response to 512 tokens and using stream equals true so the output is printed token by token without new lines to provide the same effect as the ORCA model. We'll run it once again, asking the Phi 3 model the same questions I asked the ORCA model. When asking it for a program to check if a number is prime, it gives the same primary code as a response at roughly the same speed as the Orca Mini 3B model, but it provides more explanation, comments on its code, and proper indentation. The same goes when I ask it for a bubble sort algorithm in C. The primary code is essentially the same, but it includes extra code to test an example array and then prints the result. We ask it the same C versus Rust for embedded development question with a memory profiler running. It gives such a lengthy answer that it actually cuts off at the 512 token limit. If you were to use this code with Phi 3 in a project, you would probably want to include instructions on how many words to limit the response to as part of the initial prompt. 
Viewing the results of the memory profiler is where you'll notice the biggest difference between models. It peaks at around 4 gigs of RAM usage, roughly double of what the Orca was using. Fortunately, it's still completely usable on a Pi 5 with 8 gigs of RAM, but it's just something to be aware of when noting required resources in the context of a larger project. If you enjoyed this learning path, check out some of the others at learn.arm.com. Peace.